Here we're going to be looking at allocating and calculating a bonus in a partnership. Now a partner has provided services to the partnership and the partnership agreement provides for a bonus based on a certain income allocation process. Now bonuses to partners are used as a means of recognizing the partner's service to the partnership. They're stated as a percentage either before or after certain other components of the allocation process have been completed and they're stated in reference to a variety of variables here. So let's look at calculating the bonus here. This is what this presentation is all about here. So we start out with our um, partnership agreement here looking at our first case here to re reward for services beyond that already recognized uh, would be salaries and the interest here. So the partner's already realized the salary here and he's got a return on his interest here realized. And the partnership agreement provides for a bonus beyond those already recognized salaries and interest. So let's go look here at our formula again. So we've got the bonus here and it's expressed as a percentage here. So we have a percentage times, in this case, the net income minus the salaries already received here, minus the interest here. And what we mean by the interest, that's based on a certain specified rate of interest, and that would be the rate of return on the capital investment. The partners invested cash and assets in the business, and the partnership agreements uh, states that there's a certain rate of return that he should be receiving on that. So let's go back looking here. Our bonus, in this case, let's take the example where we got a 10% bonus here times uh, $240,000 the net income minus salaries of $120,000 and then minus the interest that he would have here of $10,000. So looking here at our bonus uh, formula again, bonus 10% times that net amount here of 110000 gives us a bonus here of $11,000. Now remember this was based on uh, the recognized salaries and interest here that was included. Now let's look at the second case here in a partnership agreement where the bonus is expressed as a percentage of the net income after the bonus. So this is what we have to calculate here. We have to calculate it after the bonus. So let's go back and look at our equation here. Bonus equals again the bonus percentage here times the net income minus the salaries minus the interest here and then we have to subtract out this bonus and it would be minus the bonus here. So this is what we're going to be looking at in our formula here and this is the key to this formula here. So again we got our bonus here times 10 percent times the uh, net income here of $240,000 minus the salaries of $120,000 minus the interest here of $10,000 minus the bonus. This we do not know now at this point here. This is what we have to calculate here. So we have to subtract out this bonus here based on um, the bonus would be expressed as a percentage after, of net income after the bonus here. So going to our formula again here we got our bonus equals 10 percent and we're going to we're going to be separating out these amounts up here. So a 10% times 240,000 minus 120,000 minus 10,000 here. And then we're going to take this bonus out of the formula here using just a little arithmetic and subtract that out. So we'll take 10% times the bonus. So we removed the bonus here and separated this formula into two sections essentially. The 10% here times this net amount and minus 10% times the bonus. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to move this 10% uh, of the bonus over to the other side of the equation. So let's do that. 10% of the bonus plus the bonus here and that equals 10% times that net amount here. The net income minus salaries minus the interest here. So uh, this 10% of the bonus plus the bonus. This bonus here is actually equals 100% in our equation. So we can combine these two here. 10% plus 100% times the bonus equals 10% times our net amount here. So again for our equation here we take the 10% plus the 100% and that would equal 110% times the bonus. So we've manipulated this equation here where we've uh, taken our the 10% bonus plus the 100% bonus uh, 
that gives us 110% here, times the bonus equals 10% times this net amount that we're working with here. So again, we'll go down and reduce this equation further here. We got 110% times the bonus equals 10% times the net amount. In this case, it's 110,000 netting out these uh, amounts here. So we got 110% times the bonus times 10% of that here was $11,000 here. So just doing a little bit uh, more arithmetic here where we just take the 110% and divide it into the uh, $11,000 amount here. So that separates our bonus out. So we have our bonus setting here and we move we divide 110 percent here into the eleven thousand dollar amount and that gives us here eleven thousand divided by 1.10 that would represents our hundred and ten percent here so that would equal ten thousand dollars here so our bonus equals ten thousand dollars here so we started up here in our equation here where we were subtracting out our bonus and by doing our arithmetic here, a little bit of algebra arithmetic, we separated out uh, this bonus here, the 10% times our net amount here, and then we subtract, uh, we took 10% times the bonus up here, separated that out, brought our 10% of the bonus over to the other side of the equation here, added it to the bonus, and then the 10% plus the 100% gives us 110 percent here the bonus and then working that through our equation here we were able to uh, separate out our bonus and calculator bonus here by taking the eleven thousand dollars here dividing it by the hundred and ten percent here and that gave us the ten thousand dollar bonus here now uh, this equation here with we looked at here where we were subtracting out the bonus. Just remember here that was the partnership agreement where the bonus expressed as a percentage of net income after the bonus. And our first equation here didn't uh, require that. That was just uh, rewarding services beyond what already was recognized here for salaries and interest. So we had two situations here. You're looking at it with wouldn't include the bonus here and the second situation that includes the bonus here expressed as a percentage of net income after the bonus.